I have a counter narrative to this because this is a very Western American narrative. Now, but then also a European narrative. Now, now, a Western European narrative because I've been talking with a lot of the Eastern Europeans and of course my colleagues in the Global South, right? And we've been tackling this for a while where the assumption here is that if you have governments and good policy, corporations will magically be controlled and everything will be fine and we'll all sing Kumbaya. In reality, in our cases, governments are extremely corrupt, uh, highly unstable. We are fragile states for a reason. So potentially, governments are less trustworthy than some companies. Now, we don't particularly like the corporations either because this is all concentration of power against the people. Uh, but it's sometimes it's a case of the lesser of two evils and it is not always as cut and dried as, oh, Google and Facebook are evil. In some cases, for example, I'll give you a very good example. There is um, an act called the ICCPR Act 56 of 2007, mm -hmm. which um, tries to regulate hate speech. And this is critical in countries like ours, where we've just, you know, come out of a 30-year civil war, primarily that, and that, that was sparked by minority majority tensions. Um, and, no, and this is seen as a good piece of legislation. What it's actually used for quite recently was uh, when a writer wrote about child abuse in Buddhist temples. This is a Buddhist majority country. Buddhist monks broke down, you know, broke into his office, took him to the police. The police jailed him under ICCPR. Right. So, it is. In those instances, there are at least, you know, um, certain companies will talk to us instead of putting a bullet in our heads.